Bitch, what's up, guys? <laughs> Ladies. And welcome back to another episode of Punker Mike's Custom Action Figure Showcase. In this episode, I'm going to be showcasing my custom Marvel Legends Gambit action figure. Kick it! All right. So, kicking it off. This isn't an actual full-blown custom, more of a modification slash kind of kit bash. So I recently picked up the new Marvel Legends X-Men Caliban Bath Wave, and Gambit was definitely one of the characters out of the wave that I wanted to modify and kind of touch up a little bit to make him just a little bit better. So the first thing I wanted to do is get rid of the stock hair. Now it definitely doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look. When we first seen the promo pics at San Diego Comic Con, I thought it looked kind of ridiculous. Even though it doesn't look too bad, I'm just not a fan. But I do like the Toy Biz sculpt. It reminds me of the animated series a little bit. It is a little short. I wish the hair was just a little bit longer, but compared to the two, I'd rather have this one. So first off, I wasn't too hot on his hair. He's got like this swoop to the side hair. It reminds me of uh, when David Spade's wig flies off in Tommy Boy. I do like the way his hair looks on the toy biz. So I got his head, heated it up so it was all soft. With the razor blade, I chopped his hair off. And here's his hair right here. So you can see I dremeled it out. It took a while. It took a while to do that so I could save the sculpt. And then I just I didn't really have to do this, but I uh it was round before with this hair. Just like plug it in on. But, I like the way this will look, and now I'm doing this one-handed, so it's not going to look the greatest. It's going to look good. Trust me. So what I did uh, to get the hair off the stock gambit, I had to heat up his head real good with a blow dryer until it was nice and soft, and you can literally just peel the hair right off. It gets the glue nice and soft, and boom, just peel it right off. Now to get the hair off the Toy Biz figure is a lot harder because the Toy Biz head is one solid sculpt. So I did the same thing. I heated that head with the blow dryer till it was nice and soft. I popped it off the neck peg and then with the razor blade, I just chopped his face in half and then just started dremeling and hacking away just to get the hair piece. And then once I got the hair piece, I was able to just kind of keep dremeling and until it would fit nice and snug on there and then I super glued it on and of course I had to repaint the hair so I repainted the hair I also had to touch up the face paint there was quite a few imperfections especially around the ears and where the face lines with the mask there was either over bleeding onto the mask or the flesh tone didn't go to the edge so I had to kind of fill that in. I had to repaint the eyes a little bit. So the next thing you guys probably notice is that he's got some soft goods on. So he's got the trench coat from the Toy Biz Gambit figure. Now to get that on there nice, I had to actually remove the arms. So I took off his trench coat, which is pretty decent. I mean, it's actually soft, so it's malleable, but it's the same design that we've gotten before. And with the arms on him were single hinged elbows which I wish he had better range. They actually do have pretty decent range for being single hinge, but I definitely wanted more options for the figure. This jacket's decent. It's actually really pliable. It's really bendy, so they did good on that part because before they've reused this, but okay. usually some of the earlier at least releases were pretty hard. This one's pretty soft, so it's decent. Actually, arm articulation was pretty decent for being single hinged and like sculpt. Um, this is good as well, but I wanted to use the original Toy Biz soft good coat. Uh, now, this isn't for everybody, but I like this coat on him. So, these are Brother Voodoo arms, I believe. So I'm gonna put these on there. I'm gonna try to match this color. I have an idea how to match this color, so I'll just have to do the stripes on the side of his arms. So this should be pretty good. I just have to glue the hair on there. Actually, I gotta repaint it. And I gotta repaint the face too, because, uh, Face isn't the best. There's some missing paint right there in the edge, some missing paint in the eyes and on the ears. So I just have to do some touch-up painting. Now this I thought was going to be impossible to take off, but it's actually really easy. Once you got a lot of heat to it, it turns really gummy and I was able to just pull it off. You can see there's two ports, one port in the front, one port in the back. Um, I used this little mini flathead just to give it a little push so I didn't rip it because uh, once it's soft, it's really gummy. 
So to get those off, I had to heat them up. So I let him sit in very hot water for a while. And to get the thorough video on that, you can check out how to crack a Marvel Legends torso slash Cyclops jacket mod video I have on my channel. So go check that out after this one if you're curious. But basically I let him sit in hot water until he's nice and soft. And this piece right here, this like shoulder chest plate piece, I was actually, it actually feels hard, but once it hits enough heat, it's actually pretty soft. So I was able to pull that off and then uh, it actually covers up on the top of his collarbones. So I was able to get the razor blade in there, shimmy it up a little until the glue gets loose and then you can crack it open, get like a flathead screwdriver or a pick and pop it open, pull the arms out and then I put the arms that I wanted to put in there and make sure all the pieces go back together and then just super glue it and hold it back together. So it was actually pretty easy. And then we could check out those arms right now. So the arms I decided to use on the figure were from a Bucky Cat mold, I believe Brother Voodoo. When Toys R Us was still a thing, they had a bunch of legends marked down to $3.98 or $5 or just under $5, something like that. And so I stocked up on a bunch of Brother Voodoo figures, uh, mainly just for fodder because he's basically a solid black figure. So for random customs and everything, definitely comes in handy. So it was either between the Bucky Cap Brother Voodoo figure or I have an extra black suit Spider-Man that I was going to use his arm. So either one, in my opinion, would have worked. But I decided to go with these. I think they fit a little bit better. The hardest thing was trying to match the paint to the paint on his legs to his arms and I still don't think I nailed it I might have to go back and try it uh, with the paint I have I tried a bunch of different combinations and I was thought I was close but looking at it on camera I could tell the arms are too dark I was able to make a pinkish magenta color but to add that sparkle I was adding I have an iron breaker which is a metallic like silver and then I have a gold citadel paint so you get that shimmer in there so once I'd add the shimmer uh, it would make the paint obviously a different color. So I kept trying to do that. This is as close as I got. So I'm happy with it for now, especially since he's mainly gonna have the jacket on. If I ever come across that specific paint that'll match perfect and I decide to pick it up, then we'll go back and redo it. But for now, I'm gonna stick with this. So I said I was gonna use the black suited Spider-Man figure. I actually used his hands. As you can see, he has fisted hands right here. So you can see I just painted the index, pinky, and thumbs. Threw a little flesh tone on there clear coated it so now he's got fisted hands and obviously the stock hands he's got the bow staff holding hand and then the card throwing hand and these needed a lot of paint the paint apps on my hands were horrible uh, there was a bunch of over paint there was paint bleeding onto other fingers and there was a bunch of missing paint so I basically had to repaint the hands once I was done with that clear coated them on the Bow staff wielding hand, I threw a little bit of super glue layer. So I put it on this cheapy brush and I just brushed a little bit of super glue before I clear coated it just to put an extra protective shell since he's gonna have a bow staff going in and out of his hands just to prevent paint rub or chipping. Hopefully that'll hold up over time. And I guess if you wanted to, you could probably heat and pop the Toy Biz arms off. Like if you heated it up and popped it from the upper bicep swivel, popped it down, you could probably use that uh, as like a cheap way to do it. I would recommend if you do that though, is cut the hands off and dremel a hole so you can at least have interchangeable hands because he's just gonna have those ugly hinged hands that aren't gonna really hold anything. You can kind of see the Toy Biz arms would be like an almost an in-between because they're slightly bigger than Pizza Spidey Buck, but definitely smaller and less ripped than the Bucky Cap. So accessory-wise, the figure comes stock with the card throwing hand with the effects already on there and everything. Um, the peg doesn't have a hinge, so it's just a straight hand with the swoosh and then the cards, no design, just the effects. And then he's got a little card with the effect. Again, no card design on there, just the card outline and an effect. And I have the effect from the Toy Biz, which is pretty trash. The Marvel Select probably has the better, more detail. So it comes with two of these along with the the little hand of cards with the effect this one's really nice and then i also made a bunch of little cards i found a card template online made a background for them and then just printed it double-sided so these are actually pretty cool so one of the accessories that also comes stock with the figure is his bow staff and this one's actually pretty nice compared to how bow staffs get pretty warped really easy this one actually looks pretty nice. You can see a little bit of the flash molding uh, piping down the sides. But other than that, it's a pretty good accessory. And I also have the Marvel Select bow staff, which 
definitely is pretty good staff as well. So the one I'm probably going to have them displayed with the most is this one I made. Well, I actually didn't make it. I kind of just cut it down to size. So I don't know what this is from. It's just like a long, it was a long metal piece that I just found in an alley. Thought it was cool. Had it in my junk drawer ever since. And then uh, I remembered that I had it. And so I pulled it out. I just had to cut it down to size. But it's basically the same circumference as the other ones. And uh, I like the, the sheen it's got on there. The only downside is since it's metal, it will kind of weigh him down a little bit. So depending on how I have him posed, it might weigh him down a little bit. But I definitely like the way it looks and feels in hand. So I hope you guys like my custom. Hope it inspired you. Feel free to check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram. My handle is punker underscore Mike. And we'll see you next time. Looking at these two together make me want to repaint Rogue's face and her hair.